Have you seen the George Floyd video? I have. What impact did it have on you? Um, Senator, as you might imagine, given that I have two black children, that was very, very personal for my family. To reflect on the history of this country, where are we today when it comes to the issue of race? I think it is an entirely uncontroversial and obvious statement given, as we just talked about the George Floyd video, that racism persists in our country. As to putting my finger on the nature of the problem, you know, whether, as you say, it's just outright or systemic racism, or how to tackle the, prop, the issue of making it better, those things you know, are policy questions. They're hotly contested policy contest, uh, questions that have been in the news and discussed all summer. There's also a question as to whether the commission of a felony disqualifies you from voting in America. And the history on that is pretty clear. In an article the American Journal of Sociology found that many <clears throat> felony voting bans were <coughs> passed in the late 1860s and 1870s when implementation of the 15th <clears throat> Amendment and its extension of voting rights to African Americans were ardently contested. It still goes on today with voter suppression. But we know that in Reconstruction, the sentencing project today has found that more than 6 million Americans can't vote because of a felony conviction and one out of every 13 black Americans have lost their voting rights. Senator, what I said was that the Constitution contemplates that states have the freedom to deprive felons of the right to vote. It's expressed in the constitutional text. That was thinking in the 19th century that resulted in voter suppression and taking away the right to vote from millions of African Americans across this country. And it still continues to this day. I just don't see it. I think the right to vote should be given at least as much respect as any Second Amendment right. Do you? Senator, the Supreme Court has repeatedly said that voting is a fundamental right, and I fear that you might be taking my statement and canter out of context. What I said in that opinion was distinguishing between, it was a descriptive statement of the state of the court's case law comparing it to felon, uh, stripping felons of Second Amendment rights. I expressed no view about whether, what the constitutional limits of that might be or whether the law should change with respect to felon voting rights. And obviously that's a contested issue in some states that are considering it right now. And I have no view on that and it wasn't the subject of Cantor.